I'm Essence Lachey Machete. Okay. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm from Pine Bluff originally. Okay. Um, came back, um, just moved back and back in 2018. Right. Uh, with family and stuff like that. And this pretty much just having me a good old time. Okay. How should I address you? Um, you can address me as Essence. E Essence? Mm-hmm. Or would you refer to yourself as a uh, she? How, I mean, I'm not I, trying to... Uh, Non-binary. Non-binary. Can you explain what that means? Um, that's masculine and feminine. Okay. Um, you have masculine traits, but you also have feminine traits. Okay. And I have both. Okay. How, how were you born? I was born a man. Born a man. Okay. Okay. Well, let, let me ask you, what were you currently doing these days? You, uh, you um, have a job or... Just well, I'm at home and I'm a returning scholar, college student. Oh, online. oh, really? What's, uh, you mind sharing what school you went to? Uh, Colorado Tech University. Okay, wait, online. wait. What are you majoring in? Uh, business sound, uh, Bachelor of Science, uh, Information Technology. And so, uh, so, Essence, right? Yes. So where do you see yourself in 10 to 15 years? Uh, I'm trying to introduce my brand to the world and become an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, okay. Any 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 field you want to go into? Um, Entrepreneurship? Um, just thinking about making my own uh, computer line or virtual type of co uh, company. Okay. All right, Essence. So, so how? When did you discover that you were binary? Like, what, what, what were some things that may have happened or brought you to the conclusion you're in? Because the style grade. is very different. So, first grade. First grade. Tim, can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, I was very feminine. I had long nails. Um, okay. I used to have my hair braided, um, and I always stayed around my um, mom and her sisters. Okay. Did you have a father in the home? Or yes, anything? I did have a father in the home. He did work twenty four seven, but. Um, I just didn't relate to my father. Really? I related to more to my mom. And why, why is that, you think? I guess because she's more nurturing and stuff, and my dad was more strict. Okay. And he's also a pastor. Seriously? <laughs> now, you messed me up with that. Really? I'm not going to disclose the name. Don't, don't, disclo don't disclose the name. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, did he not treat, I mean, so uh, how would you want your father to treat you? Because I got, I got sons. Well, he, he treats me... We got a better relationship now than we did back then. Okay. It just wasn't nurturing enough? It or? wasn't nurturing. It was more like, you are a boy, and you're supposed to do such, such, and such. But I did never address myself as that. Right. Do you feel like God made a mistake? How would you explain that? I don't think God made a mistake. It's just I don't like women. You don't? I, I don't like them in the relationship status. I like them as friends. And that's it. Oh, you don't like, okay, so you don't you don't like women. I don't explain that. I'm sorry, sorry. That's, I don't like women as in being in a relationship with them, or having a sexual relationship with them. Okay. I look at them as girlfriends or okay. my sisters or something like that. I don't look at them as somebody that I've been attracted to. Okay. Because I'm more of a woman myself. Okay, okay. All right, so you feel like you're more of a woman yourself. Are you in a relationship with any, I mean, that, that may be too personal. Well, no, I am. I'm single. Um, okay. I don't have uh, no significant other. Looking for one. Okay. Um, hopefully, I can find one monogamous, monogamous relationship. Yes, yes, yes. And somebody that's long term, that's thinking about doing marriage or whatever. That's right. what I'm looking at. I'm not looking just for cookies and randoms. Uh, so, so, should I say sir or ma'am? You could say ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. All right, ma'am. Uh, so, so uh, do you believe in life after death? Like, what do you think happens to a person's soul as soon as they die? As soon as they die, I think it goes into a hole in the cell, and so everyone is called up. Okay, you believe in heaven, uh, heaven and hell. Mm -hmm. All right, so man, uh, so uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm not not judging you in any kind of way, but let's just say today, if you would stand before God, why do you think that He should let you in? Well, if you God, have to answer that question. Well, God knows what we're gonna do before we do it. So yes, we're not perfect, and we are imperfect. So with that being said, He knows what I was gonna do before I did it. Yes, ma'am. So I feel that He'll probably let me in. Okay, because <laughs> uh, we already knew. All right, so man, I'm I'm in a I, like so, man. It's so many things I have not been perfect in in my whole life. I mean, I've been I've broken into people's houses, I've done things with women I have no business doing. I am so imperfect in so many ways. Mm -hmm. So this is not a judgment at all. But have you ever had the good person test to determine where you're gonna spend eternity? Because on the day of judgment, God is gonna judge you based on some type of standard. Yeah. Right. And so, have you ever had the standard placed next to you to see where you're gonna fare up? Yes, I have. All right. So I'm going to give you the good person test really quick. Just I'm going to take four of the commandments, and then I'm going to give you some good news, and I'll leave you alone. All right. So question number one, uh, 
How many lies, and since do you think you've told in your whole lifetime combined? I know I can't keep up with mine. A lot. A lot of them. All right, <laughs> so have you ever stolen anything, even if it's really small? Yes. All right, Je Jesus says, if you look to lust, like after a man or a woman, I don't know if you ever read this before, mm -hmm. he says you already committed a, a adultery. adultery in your heart. Oh yeah, you got yeah. that. So have you ever looked at someone with lust, man or woman? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, have you ever used God's name to express anger? I have before right. and have to come back and retract my statement. Okay, that's good. So so you're just like I am. So I'm not judging any kind of way, but you just told me that you're a liar, a thief, adulterer, and a blasphemer. Mm -hmm. And we all got to face God over there, Jeff. Exactly. So Essence, if you were to face God tonight, God forbid this has happened. I hope you live to be 200 years old. But if you face God tonight, on the day of judgment, do you think you'll be innocent or guilty? Tell me what you think about that. I think I'll be innocent. Because right. as long as I repent my sins then I still got to turn it to the All right. I think when you read the Bible, I think you're halfway through what you just said. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you know the other half of what a person must do in order to be saved? Because think about it. If you just say repent, just think about a person that... But that, you got to repent. You got to uh -huh. meditate. You got to study the Bible. You got to okay. read the Bible. You got to know the commandments. You got to know the good, the beatitudes, you know. That's good. Um, so with all of that being said, you still got to do all of that. And right. still repent. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and if yeah. you don't repent in your heart and think with your mind, it really won't go through. Hey, I like I love what you said. I want you to imagine a person that murders somebody and stand before a judge. And it, let's just say the man stands before the judge and says, Judge, I know I murdered all these people, mm -hmm. but I I repent. I'm I'm sorry for what I did. Mm -hmm. What do you think the judge's response is gonna be to the man that just murdered those people and says, I'm sorry, I but it's really not up to him. It's although not up he, to him. Although he is the judge of the land, yes. because the Lord said we're supposed to follow the law of the land. Yes, ma'am. But with that being said, he he still got to have compassion. Still he still got to have compassion. He still got to be humble, humbling. Okay. In all his decisions. Right. Because sometimes you don't let other stuff kind of judge, judge over the floor. Right. And I agree with you. But the judge, if he's a good judge, he has to punish the man, even if he says, I'm sorry. Yeah. Does that he make still, sense? He still has to punish him. He still got to give him some type of sentencing. Absolutely. Right? So I want you to think about that when it comes to God. Of course, we, sh we should be sorry for what we've done to God. Mm -hmm. But if you stand before, and me and you stand before him tonight, even though we say, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. if God just let us go free and let us in, mm -hmm. he would not be a good judge because he didn't punish the offender. Yes, right. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So, so that's why I say you're halfway there. Mm -hmm. it's, another, it's, it's another thing that must come with your your repentance. Mm -hmm. And let me just tell you what it is in a quick nutshell. Okay. So right now, the, the moral law, we've, we've all broken the moral law. We've, we've committed crimes against God that we, we deserve to be punished. And the Bible says that punishment for sin is hell. Mm -hmm. Because God is a good judge, mm -hmm. he can't let men go un, unpunished. Yeah. But the good news is that if you, the Bible says to repent, and you will believe that Jesus paid the price for your sin. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a repentance and a turning away from sin and putting your trust in the Savior. Yeah. Let me just put it like this. You in a courtroom, you mm -hmm. get charged with a crime, mm -hmm. and, the, and the judge says, "What do you? how do you plead? You say guilty. It's like a man that gets up in a courtroom and he says he pays your fine. Because he's paid the fine, the judge can legally let you go free. Mm -hmm. Well, the Bible says God sent Jesus in our world. Mm -hmm. We broke the law. The Bible says Jesus came and paid the fine. That's right. So if you will return, repent, and turn to Jesus in a relationship, and since the Bible says God will forgive the debt and release your sin, yeah. and he can grant you to a place in heaven because of what Jesus did. Because if you if you don't, it's like a man that gets up on a plane 10,000 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. If I say, Essence, you gotta jump. And I say, but flap your arms as hard as you can. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. <laughs> but the, the parachute, if I say, Essence, put on a parachute, mm -hmm. and the parachute will take you eight mm -hmm. miles to the ground instead of 100 miles to the ground. But Essence, Jesus is the parachute. If we don't turn and trust the parachute, Mm -hmm. On the day of judgment, God is only left to give you judgment, but God sent his son. He loves you and me so much mm -hmm. that if we were walk in a loving relationship with God, repent and believe that Jesus paid the price, yeah. then the Bible says God will release the debt. Yeah. And he will grant you a place in heaven, but he will start to even change the way we think now. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think God made a mistake when he created you, right? No. So, I, I, so when God created me, he didn't make a mistake. But my sin is that I had a, a sexual addiction, man. I had... I was a porn addict. I was breaking in people's houses. God didn't design me to be like that. Mm -hmm. I just made my own choice. Yeah. So in the same essence, God, so would you say God called you to be a woman? If he, that makes sense? Yeah, I see what you're talking about. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So so even though I'm making mistakes, you, you, we make mistakes. Mm -hmm. That's why God loves you so much. Man, he, he doesn't want you to walk in sin. Mm -hmm. That's why he sent Jesus and he loves you so much. Oh, yeah. And so tell me what you're thinking. 
<laughs> I know I dropped a lot on you. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, any questions you got? Mm -mm. Hey, would you at least think about what I said? Yes. Hey, you are. You are.